in the kitchen or look in the shelves. Right. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. We're here. I remember the fort food tied up. Uh -huh. Found them! Oh, hi guys. I nearly missed the start of the video. And I'm getting ready for an incredible event. A candy machine pate. Can you imagine that? Give a thumbs up if you've seen at least one of my candy machine videos. We've already got a few of them, but of course there must be something new at a party. Ha <laughs> ha! So, Susie is working on a new machine. Hey, hey! Are you telling our viewers what we're making today? First, answer one question. What kind of candy is never on time? Candy? On time? I don't know. Choco! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sammy, you're probably an expert on candy jokes. Well, even I don't know all of them. Guys, if you know any candy jokes, write them in the comments. Update my collection. But listen, our new machine won't have any chocolate. No? No, only round candies. Oh, let's assemble the machine quick, or I won't have time to get ready for the party. Don't worry, you will. Then let's get started. So this candy machine consists of several small cardboard pieces. We'll start assembling the first part. To make it, I cut out pieces six by two centimeters and two squares, six centimeters and two centimeters. I'll bring it! What? The six by six centimeter piece. Uh, I've already cut it out. Besides, your piece is made of paper, not cardboard. Oh, with this party, I've confused everything. I better go continue getting ready for it. Go on. And I'll arm myself with a glue gun and glue all the pieces together. I've drawn two lines here as a guide. We need to glue one piece sideways, like this. Then we'll glue a small square to it. Guys, be careful with the glue gun. It's really hot. And let's glue the second long piece. The first assembled part is ready. Now we need to cut out three rectangles, two six by nine centimeters and one seven by nine centimeters. And we'll continue building the base of the machine. I need to continue getting ready for the party. Oh, I need to decide what to wear. I have so many outfits now. It's kind of scary. Huh? <laughs> Here, bunny, dress up. Listen, guys, do you remember which outfits I have? Let me know which one you like the best. I'm really curious. Before gluing these pieces together, I've drawn additional guidelines inside. Look, four centimeters here, and this strip is 2.5 centimeters. Now we can start gluing. We get a kind of a box without a front wall, and we'll place this piece with a square opening inside. Catch the runaway! Oh, just what I need! Uh, look. <laughs> But, uh, doesn't look too party-like yet. Well, it's not ready yet. I'll continue. Hey, what about candy? I'll keep it for further testing. Phew! Testing. I know this testing. I love testing candies myself. Right. This goes here. Do you think these cups are for lemonade? Nope. These are cups for candies. That's how candy machines work. How do candy machines work? Do you want to know? We're going to assemble the mechanism for this machine. Look, we'll take this piece. The square should be the same size as the one of the previous piece, two by two centimeters. Besides that, I'll need several wooden sticks. You can make them out of a skewer. We'll insert the longest stick through here. It's handy that the cardboard has so many holes and secure it with glue. One and two. Now let's prepare two small parts. Sue, tell me what bears don't have teeth. Uh, old bears? <laughs> nope, gummy bears! So how's it coming? <laughs> well, I'm assembling the mechanism for a candy machine. Oh, uh, it looks like, like, I don't even know what. Then it's a candy machine mechanism that doesn't look like anything. <laughs> we'll need to secure the rubber bands like this really well. Then, we need to glue the sides on. Let's apply some glue. And set the parts close to the walls. This is what we should get. Now, let's place the mechanism in the machine. And secure the moving part of the mechanism very neatly. I'll even take the tweezers. Shh! Don't breathe! 
Oh, why can't you breathe? Huh. Phew, it's so nice when you can breathe. <laughs> yeah, I can't argue with that. So where's our test candy? Ready? Look! <gasps> awesome! <laughs> now we need to make a funnel for candies. To make it, I'll take another part with a square opening. Here, I brought these. Oh, uh, well, I made them myself. And I brought them. No need to thank me. <laughs> All right. Now let's glue the pieces at an angle. We need to do it very carefully. This is our little funnel. We need to make one more piece. The front wall. Oh. Hey, where's my ruler? Huh, I need to think of something to make the machine look, well, uh, unique. Oh! Add eyes and any object will look unusual. Let's get to work. There. Seven by nine centimeters. Let's see. <gasps> Great! We only need to put the front wall in place. Voila! <laughs> Sue! Sue! Does anything else need testing? Huh. Well, you can test it even though I haven't put the lid on yet. Yay! And the test candy! <laughs> here you go. Uh, oh, let's see. Candy, come here! <laughs> it works! Let's put up transparent walls so that we can always see what's inside. Like this. And we also need a lid. But not this one, I guess. Look, I think this lid will suit it better. Everything is great in this machine! Even the lid! Sure! Because it's an incredible machine for your candy machine party, it should be great. We only need to glue the sides now. And to make opening it more convenient, let's glue the handle on. I've made it out of a glue stick. Let's try it. Wonderful! Not wonderful yet, Susie. Oh, why not? We can't do without decorating! A moment. Oh, I wonder what kind of decorating Sam has come up with. Guys, if you know, pause the video and write in the comments. Yeah! These are eyes? And a pig snout? <laughs> <laughs> yep, go glue them on! Okay, like this? <laughs> I guess it's time to pour the candies in. Yes, but shall we take something brighter? All right, let's do it. And the last one. Wait, wait, I need to record this moment. But we are recording. For my personal archive. Right, continue. <laughs> okay. Let's check out our machine in action. Pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> yes! It's so cool, guys! Do you like it? I do. A lot. <laughs> oh, my turn! Yahoo! Oh, wow! So cool! Hey, let's get everything ready for your party! Sure! The big candy machine. The spiral machine. And also, drum roll, our new cute small candy machine. Everything's ready for the candy machine party. Oh, yay! Guys, give a thumbs up if you like this video. And we're off to test the machines in Bye -bye. action. Guys, subscribe to our channel to see even more interesting crafts. And don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified about new videos. To open the window. <laughs> Sam, don't! Or there'll be a draft! How can she hear everything? Fine, I'll drink some water then. <sighs> Cold. I should pour it. Oopsie, I spilled a bit. <sighs> Fine. Uh oh So, so I need help! <laughs> you need a boat, not help. Not funny! I was hot and I wanted a drink. But you went for a swim instead. So? <laughs> Fine. Come here, let me dry you off. 
Hi, Ben. <sighs> Thanks, but I'm still thirsty. I know, and there's a great solution for such a slick guy. Wow! How come I didn't know about this before? Well, it isn't candy. <sighs> Phew. Not so hot, finally. Speaking <gasps> about candy. Ooh, Jelly Belly, will you please share? Sure! Let me open it first. <laughs> Need help? No, I'll manage. Oh! oh, Sam, what's the matter with you today? I just cleaned up. I'm sorry. I'll get the dustpan. Hey guys, did you know that Sam loves this channel just as much as he loves candy? And he really wants to have even more subscribers. You can help. Tell your friends about our channel. The more subscribers we have, the more videos we'll be able to make for you. And the more cool DIY ideas we'll have to share. You have our word for it. Ah, Sam, Sam. How does someone so little produce so much litter? So, I'm a genius! <laughs> no doubt about it. All geniuses are a bit weird. Yeah, but look! I've invented a candy machine. Here's the draft. Interesting. Pouring candies into the water cooler? Yes! I don't want this spilled candy situation to happen again. We'll put them into a cooler and then pour it into a glass like water. Cool, huh? Cool, but impossible. Candies can't go up. Oh, too bad. But they can go down. Wait, really? Yeah, we'll make your candy machine, but it needs some tweaking. Hi, guys. Today we're going to show you how to make a real candy machine. What do we need? <laughs> we need a pencil, a ruler, a paper knife, and a lot of boxes. <sighs> a moment. Here. Hmm, Sam, these are great boxes, but they're too small for a small amount of candy. Oh, this won't do. We need a large amount of candies. This means a large box. Oh. Yes, this'll do. Let's start with the body of our machine. I'll carefully outline one wall using a ruler and a pencil so it's even. And then I'll cut it out. Just like this. Be very careful when you work with a knife. It's small but very sharp. Better ask an adult to help. The first part is ready. Now I'll show you the measurements for the other parts. Here, to have it on hand, simply pause the video and take a screenshot or write it down. Now let's start connecting the parts. We need glue and lots of it. So, how many candy containers will there be? Five. Only five? Yes, five. Is that not enough? So many candies in the world and only five containers. Skittles, m and and so many others. I get it, you're an expert. But let's get back to work and start gluing. <sighs> the glue gun is the best tool for this job. We'll glue the walls onto the rectangular base and get some glue here onto the rear wall. And put it together. From here on, it'll be easier to work with the box. Let's make the base more durable with more parts. I'll secure it with an additional wall here. There. The last two go to the bottom. One here. And one there. And leave the glue to dry. Now, let's make containers for candies. These are the measurements for the parts. Pause the video again and have it saved. First, we'll create supports out of the detail number three and a stick. Like this. We'll glue one part to another one. And 
And then we'll glue it to the wall. And make another part just like this. And connect them with the detail number one. Um, how is my invention coming? Uh, your invention? I'm the one making it. And what are you doing? <laughs> the most important thing. What? I'm managing the process. All right, boss. Could you bring me an automatic pen? Yes, sure. But I'm the boss. I remember. <sighs> Let's continue. I'll glue this short stick to the piece number four. Add more glue here on the sides. And place it on the rear supports. <laughs> here, a pen and a contract. A contract? Yes, we must sign an agreement that I'm the inventor and you're oh, my assistant. Oh, I see. All right, give me the pen and I'll sign it. Huh, great pen. Just what I need. Hi, what are you doing? I'm making sure your invention works, boss. Ugh, fine, but the contract? Don't worry, I remember who's the boss here. Yes. It's me. <laughs> now, I'll put some glue onto the piece number five. And attach it here, like this. Now, I'll put the spring on the stick. And attach it to our container. Hot glue gun for life. Don't be shy with the glue. It should hold well. And now, cut off the excess. Let's add piece number six with a stick. And here we have a candy dispenser mechanism. I made a hole in the last piece number seven and now we'll put it right here. Now you just have to make four more of these. Don't tell Sam, but you can make more containers if the base is longer. What? You can make more containers? Oh, no, you've misheard me. You need more glue to keep it secured. Ah, that's good. Well done, Susie. I'll add a slope inside to make candies pour down easy. Looks good. We'll need more glue here. And now, I'll attach the containers to the base. I'll add a transparent window. Hey Sam, have you chosen the candies for the machine? <sighs> it was hard. Only the best made it. Great! We'll add candy labels to make it clear which are where. I printed the labels on a sticky printer paper. And now I'll get them on nice and neat. Now nobody will confuse them. Who's gonna confuse candies? They're all so different. Well, you're the only expert here. And the rest of us need some guidance. We'll pour the candies into the containers. <sighs> Let me help! Uh, maybe I should do it. You've already opened one today. The containers are full, and now we can put the lid on. The candy machine is ready! Write in the comments which candies you'd put in your machine. Sam is very curious, and maybe he'll learn something new. Congratulations, colleague! It's a success. Colleague? You're not my boss anymore? You know, I think it's too much responsibility, and I'm too busy for this. Press the button! 
my little friend. I came to help you go to the ball. Oh, I'm ready to go right now! I can't. I need to sort candies. Don't worry, Sammy. I'm here to make a magical machine for sorting candies. A magical machine? Yay! Hey, hey! With all this work, I haven't forgotten about you, my dear viewers. And today, you're in for something amazing! Yes! Today, we're going to make a magical candy sorting machine. Will you wave your wand and the machine will appear? What? No, Sammy, magic doesn't work that way. First, we'll need to prepare all the necessary parts, then assemble the machine, and then we'll have magic. Well, all right. It's still faster than sorting candies one by one. What do I need to do? Please cut openings in these cardboard pieces. Cardboard? That doesn't sound magical, but... Oh, well. Even magic needs some effort. Give a magical thumbs up if you agree. And I'll start assembling our amazing candy machine. Here, I have 24 cardboard strips, 22 by two centimeters. I'll glue each four of them together to make a sturdy base for our candy machine. Because candies aren't as light as they may seem. Huh. No, wait! Oh? You can't even eat one candy or the stepmother will get angry and punish me! Oh, well, I won't. You're so honest, my dear godson Sam. Yes, that's me, hardworking and honest. I'll continue cutting out cardboard pieces. Hard work and honesty are wonderful qualities. Which qualities do you think are most important? Write in the comments, please! Da -da -da -dum. These are the sturdy cardboard strips I've made. And I've made these out of strips 12 by 2 centimeters. Everything's ready for making the base. Everything's ready? Why did I need to cut? Oh, no, no, Sammy. Only some of the pieces are ready. See? I'm gluing them together to form one big piece for the base. We'll need your pieces later. Tell me, Fairy Godmother, can you make candy wrappers disappear on their own so I won't have to collect them all over the house? Sammy, you just need to throw them into the trash can right away. Aw, oh, well, fine. Abracadabra! <coughs> nope. Alakazoo! Not what I need. Let's try this again. Ugh. No! <sighs> Alakazam! Ugh. Okay, one more time. And... Yes! Yum! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sammy has such a wild imagination, but this craft doesn't need imagination as much as it needs neatness and patience while I glue these pieces together to make a kind of crate. There, it'll hold other pieces. We'll start with this platform. It's made of cardboard pieces glued together. I'll attach it to the base, nice and slow. Let's apply some magical glue. Just look at this pretty blue glitter. And I'll attach the sides. On the back. And... On the front. And now... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Cardboard horse to the slime ball. Horse fun. Sammy, what are you doing? These are parts for the candy machine. Oh well, I, I thought what if I sit in them like a car? I'll get to the slime ball right away. 
I'm afraid cardboard doesn't have magical properties like that, but these pieces will help us continue our craft. These are some cool openings I've made, right? <laughs> yes, Sammy. It's one of the most important parts of the machine because candies will come out of here. Oh, then glue them in place. Hurry! This big piece should go on top. Carefully now. And this piece doesn't need gluing, but... There it goes. <laughs> yes, Sammy. We need to glue these circles to it. They'll be the handles. I'll glue one handle first. Then set the piece in place. And now I'll glue the second handle. Right, the piece moves! Wonderful! Let me do it too! <laughs> That'll be enough. You'll have plenty of time to move it. We still need to glue all the walls. All the walls? How many is that? Well, count them. One, two, three, four, Walls. That's right. But cardboard walls aren't enough. We also need to make glass walls in the front. Like this. Oh. Oh. What? We need to add an important piece inside. Two to be exact. Magic. We'll make little slides for candies to make it easier for them to slide into the opening. Yeah! Candy slides! And now we can place the transparent walls. To know what's inside. And more importantly, how much is left. So this isn't an endless candy machine. No, Sammy. All candies finish at some point. Aww. Aw, cheer up. I'll put the lid on and then you're going to see some real magic. Oh, I can't wait! Well, you'll have to wait a bit because the slides inside aren't enough. We also need candy slides on the outside. Can slimes write these slides? I doubt it. That is unless you want to turn into a candy-sized slime. Oh, no, I don't. Well, then you'll have to watch candies ride these slides. Here, we'll have Skittles. And M&Ms go here. Fairy Godmother, how is this wonderful machine going to solve the issue with candy sorting? It only serves them separately! Well, Sammy, I'm not called a fairy for nothing. Bibbity, bobbity, boom! Here are two containers with candies for you! Holy cannoli! Let's pour the candies into different sections and try our machine in action. And don't worry, you'll be able to eat a candy or two. I've added candy so your stepmother won't notice anything. Yay! So, here we go! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> All right! <laughs> no more candy mess! I'm so happy! Now I can go to the ball! Sure, Sammy. One, two, three! Huh? Huh? Wh what? Where? Huh? This... This is my bedroom. Not a ball! Oh, weird. I don't get it. Um, huh. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Hi, Sammy. Want a candy? Susie? Oh, uh, Sue, where did this candy machine come from? What do you mean? You've had it for ages. Have you forgotten? Silly Sam. Eat a candy and you'll remember everything. Uh, oh. <laughs> Bibbity, bobbity, boo! <laughs> Guys, give a big thumbs up if you liked our magical machine assembly. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel not to miss any new videos from Sam. But, um, this looks so nice! Guys, I've decided to throw a party for my friends. I've even designed my own party decor. Look at these cool cups, straws, and napkins. Right. What's going on here? Oh, Sam, I'm just telling our viewers of the upcoming party. What party? I didn't invite anyone. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I want to invite some friends for the weekend. Sue, I am totally against this. But why? Last time we had guests, they ate all my candy. Ah, uh, now I see what's bothering you. Of course, what else could it be? I've already thought of your sweet treasures. Come, let me show you. Here, 
Look! I've seen this piece of cardboard a hundred times! It never once helped me save my candy! Well then, take a closer look at these details. You're making a strong box for my candies? We'll put all the sweets in there and won't give any to our guests? You simply hate sharing, don't you? You'll have to agree, a strong box is a super cool idea. Uh, that's right. It's a great idea for hiding candy from a certain sweet-toothed slime. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder if our viewers will agree. Hey, let's just forget about the strong box. Okay, now I'll need two wooden sticks. And I'll need to apply some glue on the piece we've just made. There. And there. We'll glue one of them here. And another one there on the other side. <gasps> yeah! This is my contribution to your Those party. Those didn't come from under the bed by any chance. So you never mind about their looks. What's really important? They're candies. So we won't be making a candy machine for my party? Wow! A candy machine? Yay! Let me help! Can you bring me the small parts I've already cut out? Sure thing! Yahoo! I'm on my way! Okay, the base for our machine is ready. Coming already! Here you go! It only took you about a hundred years. What kept you so long? Well, I kept wondering how your machine could save my candy from the guests. It's all very simple. Look. We'll fasten these rubber bands here. Here goes the second one. And now we're going to need a stick. I don't get any of it. This mechanism will give out candy in portions. Everything will become clear once we finish the machine. What? Our machine is going to have horns! Of course not. We'll fix this in a moment. There and here. Right. Now comes the most interesting part. Uh, listen. I have to make a list of all the guests. What for? I sent the invitations myself. I need to track which guests have already been given candy. Have I missed something? Since when have you become such a meanie? Guys, let's assemble the candy shelf. We'll start by making two cardboard walls. The first one and the second one. Now let's fit these pieces of plastic. They're see-through, so it'll be easy to keep an eye on the sweets. There! Ew! I'm not a meanie! I wanted to make a list so that no one gets left without sweets! That's more like it. Guys, do you like throwing parties? What was the biggest number of guests you've ever invited? 10, 20, maybe 50 people? Tell us in the comments! Ah, uh, Sue, don't you think that's enough walls? The way I see it, everything's gotta look neat and beautiful. You're such a perf 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 perfectionist? <laughs> that's right. Such a difficult word. It's what we call people who like achieving ideal results in everything. Oh, that sounds exactly like you. Sam, will you bring me the candy? I'll be right back! Let's attach the lid using sticky tape. Plus, we'll need this thingy to cover the machine's inner parts. And there! Don't you think our machine looks absolutely marvelous? Now, all we have to do is draw a pointer arrow. Like that. Phew! I'm not too late, am I? Nope. Just attaching the handle. To make it more convenient. Let's put in the candy, shall we? Hooray! Please let me do it! Okay, just be careful. And… <laughs> <laughs> just one final touch. Sue, let me treat you to some candy. After all, you're my friend. Thank you. And we can also test whether our machine works. It does! Now I can fill the whole world with candy and joy! Guys, what do you think of our party idea? Don't forget to like this video and tell your friends about our channel! Bye-bye!
tasting the candies for our craft. Well, I was waiting for you, so I decided not to waste time and test the material, whether it's tasty or not. And what do you say? I don't know. I dropped them and haven't tried all the flavors yet. Oh, Sammy. Candy unboxing is sure fun, but there's always a craft. Light shoe. Let's make unboxing and the crafts. That would be awesome to combine business with pleasure. <laughs> You're very creative. Oh, uh, whatever. I'm just a mere genius. Genius. Let's oh. get to work. Da -da -da -da. Hey, guys. Today we have lots of work, and we will create an amazing Mentos vending machine. I see only a stack of cardboard bricks and not a single Mentos package. <laughs> These are the basic parts. It's better to prepare them in advance. And if you involve the whole family, it can get even more fun. And faster. What's more important? So we get to the first magical combination. Sam, could you please bring me the skewers? Are you talking about the giant toothpicks for crocodiles? Oh, yes. As far as I know, crocodiles like to use small, lazy, pink, Slime. Who do you mean? Me? If you didn't notice, I am actually helping you. Okay, you're doing a great job. And now bring me the cutter, please. Here you go, Sue. Thank you, Sammy. Guys, don't forget to ask an adult to help you with the cutter. Come on, Sue. Very carefully. Like this. Aha. We need to add glue into the holes for our giant toothpicks. And pop. Oh, wow. What an interesting thing we have here. But I don't really understand how it's going to work. <laughs> You'll know soon. Where is our tasty material? Yay! Finally! My favorite part, candies! Where are you? Guys, we need to repeat the same action twice so we get three dispensers. Sammy! Susie! I think I guess I lost a couple of candies on the way. Oh, you poor thing. Maybe you <laughs> lost them in your belly? Wait. How did you guess? You're a bad liar. Uh, in my defense, I can say try one and you will understand me. Well, okay. Mmm, it's delicious. Guys, comment below. What's your favorite Mentos flavor? That's enough. Let me take them to some safe place so you don't need all of them. Hey, hey, hey. I'll need at least one package for the craft process. So our dispensers look like this. It's getting more complicated, but we don't cut corners. Assistant, pencil, please. Coming! Sammy, are you eating candies for our craft again? How could you even think of it? Maybe I have a secret reserve. Oh, well, when the time comes to load the Mentos into the machine... Everything will be right on the spot. Okay, then I trust you, Sammy. <sighs> this cardboard kingdom is driving me crazy! Sam, no time to rest. Bring the Mentos, please. Ha, I guess today Candies took over the cardboard. <laughs> Sammy, hurry up. Done. Looks like you recharge yourself with Candies again. <laughs> but I'll do this and hop. Holy cannoli. And now, Sammy, bring me the smallest pieces. I'm on it. So, what do we have here? the smallest pieces. Do you really think that I meant this? I don't get it. You said bring me the smallest pieces and I brought them. Oh, Sammy. That's what I meant. I did as ordered. Mmm, tastes like bubble gum. Sammy, please spare some for the craft. And for me. What do you need them for? Sam! Okay, okay, will do. And what do you have here? These parts will serve as an important section of our Mentos machine. Looks well, more like a sandwich. Actually, this reminds me more of a sandwich, but it is a special Mentos card. Mentos card? Sounds cool. You give me the Mentos card and I will be the main Mentos holder. <laughs> Did you mean Mentos Eater? Hop. Nah, don't get into detail, Sue. Keep working. Yes, yes. I already placed the zip ties here. They will help us secure the rubber bands like this. Sue, 
I guess we need clippers here. Right you are. By the way, guys, what is your favorite tool to work with? Write in the comments below. And meanwhile, we need to thread these ties through the rubber bands and secure them nicely. And on the other side as well. Wow! Did I miss something? You are right on time. We are almost done with the mechanism. Where were you? Me? Uh, well, doesn't matter. We'll tighten it really well, like this. And cut off all the extra stuff, like this. And we will need three more of these. Hop, hop. And now we glue everything to the base. There we go. I wonder, where did they go? Hmm. hmm. What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Did you call me? Yes, but I already managed it myself. And here is another task for you. Find me a bowl, but not a big one. Good. Uh, did you just say a bowl? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Whoosh! The bowl car has arrived. Hurry up and put the candies in here! <laughs> <laughs> this time, the bowl will serve as a stand for our Mentos machine. Hop. Oh, well. No luck again. How so, Sammy? We're making a machine full of Mentos for you. Actually, it reminds me more of a house construction. Concrete, wax, and brick. Bang! <laughs> Sammy, I love your imagination, but we don't have any bricks or concrete here. Only glue and cardboard. Yeah, yeah. Tell me that it's not a house, but a device. It's not a house. It's a device. Susie! <laughs> okay, okay. Like this, we'll glue the last part. Same thing we need to do on the other side. And I need to do an in and by the way, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, especially if you like funny slime. And for the next stage, we'll need a window like this. Oh, no! Susie! They disappeared! Disappeared! The Mentos, they're not there! Someone found my secret place! Oh, Sammy, I'm pretty sure you simply forgot where you put it. No, no, I never forget things. I, I was testing the flavors. First one, then another. Oh, right. I guess he finally remembered. <laughs> and we need to repeat the same actions with the two dispensers that are left. There we go. Damn it, Susie, don't worry. I found the candies. I wasn't actually worried. Really? Whatever. Looking forward to the candy finale. This stage is done. Ugh, and I'm ready to fill the machine with candy. We did attach the lids, but that's not all. Didn't you forget something? I guess no, but let's check. Okay, Mentos apple, Mentos strawberry, Mentos mixed beach. Nope, everything's here. Gee, Sammy, you only think about candies. What about the decorations? <gasps> And all this will become the base which will help our machine turn around. Here is my masterpiece. Where do we stick it? Good job, Sam. We'll put them aside for a moment. I still need your help here. Oh, wow. The sandwich again? What for now? You will see. So now I need a screwdriver. Actually, I didn't expect to see the screwdriver here. Like this. Guys, ask an adult to help you. We make the hole so the cap can fit in there. Get ready for a great adventure, Mr. Cap! Hop. Wow, Susie looks interesting! Oh, yeah! So, another touch, and we can... We can attach the part with the cap! Yeah, you're totally right, Tammy! One, two, <laughs> three, done! It's like a real merry-go-round! And now we only need to decorate our machine! And voila! Looks amazing! Wow, the machine is ready, isn't it? Yep, we only need the candies. Awesome! I guess it's my paradise. Mwah. Get up, friend. Uh. It's time to put our candies into the Mentos Wonder Machine. Susie, it's never been so much fun to part with candies. Let's fill our Mentos machine and pop, pop, pop. 
strawberry, apple, mixed beach. Ugh, so tasty! This crap is just the best! Hmm. Here's our Mentos machine! Oh, stop! Stop! How are we gonna get the candies from there? I thought you'd never ask. Give it to me! Let me show you how it works first. It's time for a Mentos party! Yay! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the next one. Whoa! It's working perfectly! Ta da! Here comes the Apple Mentos! Bam! Guys, subscribe to our channel, and we'll do our best to show you more new and amazing crafts! Bye, the mozzarella! The candies out of our machine taste much better! Mmm, thanks for watching! See you soon! And don't forget to give a thumbs up! Bye, everyone! Okay, right. I finally finished this dress sketch. Oh no! Ugh, this is my favorite shirt. Oopsie. Sam, we need to talk. Uh, double oopsie. Yes, you. Now I'm not going to ask why there's chewing gum here, but you will tell me how you're gonna make it up. Ah, uh, new craft. I'll be so helpful that you'll forgive me! And I'll wash all the clothes in our house! Huh… Agreed. And please Google how to get chewing gum off of a shirt. Guys! Our craft today will prevent Sam from ruining my clothes with chewing gum. <gasps> Think I can hear something. <laughs> and it's coming from… here? Sammy! Eureka! Who? I said Eureka! My hypothesis was right! I hope your hypothesis is related to my shirt. It is! Chewing gum doesn't like cold, so we combine gum with frost and boom! A perfectly clean shirt! Oh, yes it is clean! Great job! Actually, I know tons of ways to remove chewing gum from clothes. For example, we can use an iron hair dryer and tape. That's very cool, but we agreed that you'd help me with the craft. With great pleasure! And wash the rest of the clothes? Uh, listen about washing. Let's get back to the craft. Guys, now we'll draw the layout of a maze where Sam's chewing gum will roll. By the way, Sam, you'd better sort these clothes according to color and wash them separately. This way they won't get stained. Yes, yes. And there are a couple of t-shirts with Nutella stains. You need to pre-wash them before putting them into the washing machine. So maybe I'd better help you with the craft first. Mm, I'm doing just fine. You can focus on the washing. Washing is boring! And crafting is fun! Sam, you can make any task fun. <laughs> Guys, be careful with hot glue. Ask an adult to help you. It's the matter of creative approach. Any routine can be super mega interesting. So even washing can be fun? Highly unlikely. <laughs> of course it can. Sam, you're the famous creative slime. Brainstorm a little and the solution will come naturally. Creative, creative, creative! Sam, it's like you're summoning a ghost. You sound kind of creepy. Shivery cheddars, I got it! It's so easy and genius, totally my style. I didn't doubt ya. You've always been a very creative slime. So, we almost finished the body of our bending machine. Huh? Don't you think it looks like a maze? I always dreamed about walking in a mysterious labyrinth. It's so exciting. Well, of course I'm happy that Sam came up with a creative washing option, but it's become suspiciously quiet again. Hmm, that's weird. Creative washing, easy peasy. Um, so fast? That's even more suspicious. Nothing to suspect, it's just about being creative. Okay, guys, be careful while working with an awl. This is where we need to insert a piece of a pen. We've already cut it to the necessary size. So Sam, tell me, how did you deal with the dirty clothes? I threw them away. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, very funny. That was sarcasm in case you didn't get it. Snap. Come on, Sue, it was funny. Well, I did fall for it. 
Anyways, don't switch the topic, Mr. Sly Slime. What happened to the clothes? It's simple. I just put them into the freezer. I have a guess, but I'll still ask. What for? Well, the chewing gum got off thanks to the cold, so the other stains will also fall off. Okay, I saw that coming. Sammy, I'll count that as washing. Now, can you help me with the craft? At your service. Make the wheel for our vending machine. Uh, one moment. And the wheel is ready. Guys, check out the cool wheel Sammy made. With its help, the chewing gum will get into our machine. Sammy, you are definitely way better at crafting. So are you. Hold your tongue, Mr. Creative Washing. I wash the clothes so well that afterwards they look brand new. Are you trying to say that I'm not good enough at washing? I'm not trying, but saying it clearly. Sam, you're not good enough at washing. You have to face the truth and acknowledge your imperfections. You'll regret these words when you see my slime washing skills. Huh. Yeah, yeah. The central part of our machine needs to be transparent. That's why we'll glue this plexiglass to the body. So, Sam, why are your incredible washing skills so special? Whoa! All because of my cool secret life hacks. I get clean your shirt using the freezer. And let me guess, next time you'll put all the clothes into the oven so all the stains will get hot and run away? You can joke all you want, but you'll be shocked when you see perfectly clean clothes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe you'll even iron them? Maybe I will. Anyways, you'll be shocked. Guys, this trick is called manipulating slime perfectionism. Sounds smart, right? <laughs> I came up with it myself. You just have to tell Sammy that he's not perfect at something and done. You can see the result. <laughs> How else could I make Sam wash our clothes? And our machine will work with the help of this wheel. We'll attach the wheel to the base of our craft and we'll also need a smaller wheel like this. Wow, Sammy, you're just, um... Yes, yes, I'm awesome, we all know this. Let's do some crafting now. The clothes are washed and I also helped with the craft. I guess someone here is just awesome! I wonder who that is! Trying to manipulate slime perfectionism again! What? How did you know? It's too easy! I used the famous slime deduction technique! Wow, I didn't know that existed! Uh, tell me more! Do you think I'll put all my cards on the table just like this? Ooh, that's very naive! Guys, give a thumbs up if you want to know about slime deduction! The more likes we get, the faster he tells us! Right, Tammy? There you go. You know, I think I'll tell you about slime deduction right now. Wow, Sammy, that makes me happy, but why all of a sudden? You pardon me for the chewing gum on your shirt. Oh, I forgot it long ago. Come on, tell me about your slime deduction. I love to learn new things. It's my inspiration to create new unusual outfits. And here we'll put the chewing gum. So the first rule of slime deduction is to pay attention to details. Wow, just like in fashion. Details create the right look and give the outfit a certain vibe. What kind of details helped you to reveal my small manipulation? Small, you say? I washed, ironed, and folded a ton of clothes! And now we'll make a cool shoot for the gum. Just like a water slide. <laughs> Sammy! Tell me more about your deduction? I'm so curious! Well, first, speech is very important, especially certain words. For example, you said good many times. Mm, so what? It's just a word. What could that mean? It means that in this way you tried to call to my inner perfectionist. Huh. Interesting. Go on. Second, you used the trick of enhancing. Enhancing? I've never heard of that before. Uh, explain, please. I'm puzzled. When I started to prove that I'd wash the clothes, you said maybe you'll even iron them. You said it on purpose so I would iron the clothes in addition to washing. Wow. <laughs> You're observant. Observation is the key skill of slime deduction. But there is also point three. Oh. I'm all ears. It's just your language. 
Wow, explain. When you told me that I'm not good enough at washing, you moved your elbow to the side and looked at the upper right corner. It means that you didn't think so. I said it on purpose to make me want to prove the opposite. Oh, that's impressive. See? Slime deduction is the best way to reveal manipulations. Now I'll use it as well. Thanks, Sammy. Sammy, now you can enjoy chewing gum and my clothes will be safe. What show? You said that you forgot about it. Moreover, I washed everything. <laughs> Just kidding, you did great. You washed all the clothes perfectly and helped with the craft. Guys, just check out how fun it is to help the chewing gum find the way out from our labyrinth. I bet you won't believe me when I say that I can chew all this gum. I can do it easily. Oh no, Sam, that doesn't work. Now I know the trick and can see all your manipulations right away. What do you mean? First, you said I bet you won't to awaken my inner perfectionist that wants to be good at everything. Second, you used the psychological trick of challenging, saying that you can chew all the gum easily. And third, at the end of the phrase, you bent right, which proves your intention to get all of the gum. Hmm. I wish I'd never taught you that. I will never tell you about my secret techniques again. <laughs> okay. Sammy! Have your well-earned gum. Guys, give a thumbs up if you liked making this vending machine with us. Subscribe to our channel not to miss new crafts. Bye-bye, guys. What a height! Okay, I'm chopping. I can make it. Gumballs, here we come! <laughs> Sammy, I've just cleaned up here. So my dream came true. <sighs> that's it, Mister. I'm restricting your access to sweets. Nah, that's not interesting. <gasps> it is interesting since it's gonna be a new craft. A new craft! Yay! Hi, guys! Today we're going to build an awesome gumball machine! It's the best day of my life, too! My personal gumball machine! But you won't have all of them at the same time, Sammy. Guys, be careful while working with the compass. I know, I know, Susan. Too much sweets are no good for your health. Mm-hmm, that's right. Guys, do you like gumballs? Give a thumbs up if you do. Huh. I bet it'll be faster with magic. Snap. And done. Do I need a coin to get gumballs from our machine? Oh, you do. And more than one. Maybe paying for sweets will stop you from eating too much of them. Or at least I hope so. I don't like this idea. Everything good should come for free. Keep dreaming, Sam. In the meantime, I'll cut out this piece. Be very careful with sharp objects, guys. Or better ask an adult to help. Why did I bring up that coin topic at all? <laughs> oh, Sammy. Guys, don't forget that this glue is very hot. Apply it like this. And now we'll use tweezers to secure a piece of a wooden skewer right here. So I wanted to help, but something got stuck to me. Oh, Sammy, great job. Let me take these. We'll speed up the process just a bit. Now it's time for the rest of the cardboard circles. We'll apply some glue like this. Guys, if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, it's hard time to do it now. Now we'll glue these two circles together. So look, we have a walking circle here! <laughs> oh, thank you. It goes right here. Perfect. Next step is to make a hole. Try not to hurt your fingers. Uh, so let me help you. Oh, Sammy, perfect timing. 
I wish everyone had a helper like Sam. Helper it is! Look what I've done! Whoa! Tammy, you are always one step ahead. That's exactly what we need. Of course, I'm the greatest master at last. So what's next? The second stage of the gumball machine. So, are you sure you cut everything right? It looks so uh, small. <laughs> it has to be small, Sammy. It's the inner part of the coin mechanism. Secure this little piece like that. I've already made this piece from popsicle sticks. See, it's really easy. We'll secure it right here. And another popsicle stick piece. I don't get it yet. Why don't you explain how it's gonna work, Sue? <laughs> A bit more patience, Sammy. Seeing is believing. This whole piece goes right here. It's not that I don't trust you, Sue, but it looks strange so far. You're too suspicious, Sammy. I won't let you down. Don't you dare trick me! I'll get my gumballs anyway! <laughs> Believe me, I know that, Sammy. <laughs> uh, we'll secure this with the rubber band and finally see how it all works! If you try to twist it just like that, the circle will get stuck. But when the coin is there… It works! Aha! Uh -huh, now I get it! Nice move, Susie! Sammy! Watch out! Shiver me, Cheddar! What is it? A snake? A worm? <laughs> You've been pranked! It's just the next piece of our craft. Uh, are you sure? I'm already ready to defend myself. Did you want to defend or hide, Sam? Something tells me that it's the second option. Why? I'm the most valiant slime in the whole YouTube world! Oh, guys, I guess you not only have to be careful with the hot glue, but also with Sam. Never prank him. <laughs> Just look at how all fired up he got. He even forgot to help me with these pieces. Come on, Sue. I know it's a joke. The gumball. Perfect timing. Thanks, Sammy. Let's check. Aha! Fits perfectly. Awesome. Susie, show some respect. It's a valuable stock. I can't do it as good as Sam does, but still… Huh? The opening is done. Now we can connect it to the main construction. Phew, I hit all the gumballs just in case. What did I miss? The wheel for the mechanism is done. I hope they're in a safe place. You can't doubt the safety level of this place, Miss Susie. Oh, well then, I guess I know what kind of safe place it is. Okay, okay, I ate them. Is it a crime? I'll fight for my right to eat candies. <sighs> Relax, Sammy. Nobody blames you. Enjoy your candies as much as you want. Now we'll need to adjust this part just a bit. Huh? Did you shake the part wrong? You should have come to me right away. It's all going as it should. Nothing to worry about. Huh? But I was worried and cut out more pieces. There you go. Good job, Sammy. Everything goes so much faster and way more fun when you're helping with the craft. Oh, come on. I'll go cut out something else. <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime, we'll start assembling the body of our machine. This part goes in the middle. <gasps> oh, I almost forgot about one little piece. Right here. Sue, so, uh, I guess we'll need your magical power here. Easy peasy, Sammy. Look. This is the slide for our gumballs, which we'll install like that. See? The slide starts right under the wheel, where the candies will fall from. So it's great, but a gumball can roll out when you turn it and never get in the slide! Oh, to prevent this, we'll have this directional part. Is that okay? Holy cannoli, this is genius! Whoa, Sammy, you were so happy that you didn't notice and made magic? Candies will fall from the jar straight into this funnel. How's it going? I made these and now I don't see anything! Sammy, you cut out the walls! Awesome! Oh no, still there's a hole in one wall! Maybe it's been stolen? Did you see anything, guys? Where did they go? This wall has to be a little different, so this opening has to be there. Alright, we'll need this to take coins out of the machine. I invented it. 
If you say so. But I guess something's missing. Uh, what? To make it look beautiful, we'll assemble a special box. Up. Great. Now we'll insert it into our construction. There you go, carefully. Fits perfectly. And the coin will go down on this slide. Sammy, are you ready to test the mechanism? Are you kidding, Sue? I've been dreaming about it the whole time! Let's imagine that we want to buy this gumball. We'll insert the coin… And twist this in the right direction. Hail the great Timmy Dabba, it's working! The mechanism passed the test, but there's still… Hey, Sammy, where did the gumball go? The early bird gets the worm. Ooh, what a foxy slime you are. Catch me if you can! Guys will be our back can't get me! Okay. Now not a single gumball will be missing from here. I got it. I got it. I'll protect it like the apple of my eye. And who will protect them from you? Anyway, we'll upgrade the money mechanism right now. Sammy, could you hide this jar in a safe place? I wanted to suggest that. I already have an idea. Um, FYI, I know exactly how many gumballs are in there. If only one is missing… Okay, okay, I won't eat anything, I promise. And while Sam's away, I'll show you the secret money check system. <laughs> I'm sure that Sammy will try to trick me and put a smaller coin in our machine, but only a coin of a necessary size will fit inside. And now we'll install it real quick before Sam comes back. Whoa, you already installed the front wall? I missed a lot. Mm, even more than you think. I see that the gumballs are back again. Yeah, huh? I just saw you that here under your surveillance, they'll be safe. Aha! Uh -huh. I see that you added something new. The lid's a different color. And this opening wasn't here before. Come on, say it, Sammy. I promise I didn't take any gumballs. Or maybe just one. Or two. Ugh. Okay, but when we finish the machine, it won't be so easy for you to eat so many sweets. Now we'll glue the lid to the machine. Be careful with hot glue, guys. Most probably you've seen machines like this in department stores. And bought some gumballs. There you go. Well, dear friend Sammy, say bye bye to free gumballs. Farewell, my sweet ones. I'll miss you. We'll add a drop of blue in each corner. Like that. Carefully. And start the docking. Whoa, the world turned upside down. Sammy, it's time to turn the machine uh, back. Come on. It's kinda. Hi. I got you. Well, here we go. Oh! Phew, that was easier than I thought. <laughs> Sammy, now we'll need all your creative skills. This I can do. Tell me what we need. Well, we have to make the machine look not so boring. Any ideas? Sure, I am the decor master. Here. Ooh. Yeah, I like this option, but we need more of these sticks. I painted some of them. Hi. I got a problem with the rest. I can't make it on time. It's okay, Sammy. I'll help you with that. Sue, you're a true friend and I won't be fooling around. Guys, to get a color like this, you should mix some blue, white, and a little bit of violet paint. Sue, how's she going? My part's ready. Wow! How fast you are! I have to catch up and use a magic trick. Bibbity, bobbity, subscribity! Awesome! I see, Sammy, that you didn't waste your time and painted the upper part. Yeah, and I also washed the brushes. I'll go put them in place. We'll glue these bluish pieces all around the craft. Huh. It already looks so much better. Can't you be faster, Susie? Like that. Wow, it's so beautiful. It came out very unusual, Sammy. But I don't really like this pencil popping out. With this, it will look much better. Did everybody hit the bell button? I really like the combo of blue and red. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gumball Machine! Sammy, I knew that you were gonna try to cheat. Oh well, this time I'll lend you some of my money. Thanks, you. You're a real friend. Guys, did you like our craft today? Support us with a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And subscribe to our channel. We have so many crafts there. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ba -da, ba -da -da, da -da -da -da. So currency devaluation really bothers me. The dollar exchange rate is steady still. <laughs> Sammy, what's wrong? Dear colleague, I saved a couple of dollars and I'm thinking where I could invest. Oh, interesting. I don't want to sponsor any kind of swindlers or unpromising startuppers. I have a good option in mind, but I'm worried about the cash back. Huh, how about getting the cash back in Gumball? I must admit, this is a very tempting offer. Moreover, I'm ready to take the deal right now. Then get ready to invest your savings into a sheepy bank! Let's go! I guess this craft will be a long-term investment of my money! Hey, hello guys! Today we're going to make a cool sheepy bank with a gumball vending machine! Great cash back! All banks should consider this option! First, I made a couple of templates. Five tablets with round holes on the edge. Uh, are you sure a gumball fits in there and doesn't get stuck? Of course, Sammy. I drew a circle around the gumball on our cardboard beforehand. The hole I made is even a little larger. Now we apply the glue to the base of each tablet. And add a little bit of magic. Hop. Nice and neat. Impressive. But I still don't understand how we get a sheet from this. Be patient, Sam. You're an economist after all. We've got a construction like this. And the gumball still fits in perfectly. Now let's make a fastening. Insert a sharp stick approximately in the middle and cut off the tips like this. Done! I also made another similar template. But it's not for gumballs. It's for coins. Huh. And what's the difference? There's not just a round hole at its edge, but a hole with an angled cardboard. So the coin rolls down nicely. Sam, it's time to make the sheep. We need to cut some walls for the base out of cardboard. Can you do it? I can manage important economical issues. You really think I can't handle the cardboard? Okay, I believe you. Take all the necessary stuff and check out the dimensions in my notebook. We'll be done, boss. Oh, wait. Huh? I can't do it right now. What? I can't proceed with our craft until you give us a thumbs up. So, hmm, they're much better. Now I'm on it. In the meantime, I'm going to finish the main mechanism. Let's place the wooden rim around the hole for our coins and fix this part with super glue. There and here. Easy. Now we can connect the tablet for gumballs with the tablet for coins, getting a unified mechanism. Here, the construction is done. So soon my money is materializing. Uh, Sam, I don't get it. Did you cut out the walls for a sheepy bank? Oh, so that's what I'm talking about! Here. Here are the first, second, and third platforms. And some walls for our sheepy bank. Great job, Sammy. Since you did so good, turn around for a second, please. Huh, what's that? Turn back. I brought your work to perfection! Not bad, Sue. Let's get this piece done and set up our construction so everything is perfect. Here's another wall! Thanks! There we go. Now we need to make the main mechanism of our construction. It will push out the gumballs. Pay attention that we removed the upper cardboard layer here. It reminds me of a swing for two! Yay! <laughs> Let's call it a swing for cash back! We also have some wooden parts. Let's glue them together as well. Very carefully. Now this is the base of our mechanism. 
So, it's sort of our sheep's brain, since it will perform the general work. Well, in a way. <laughs> Sam, you're very creative. You bet. Business is all about creativity. Let's get back to the filling of our sheep. Let's add a small wooden holder for the rubber band. And glue it to the main construction, of course. I put the rubber band onto the mechanism, correct? Absolutely. We need to put the ready wooden mechanism here, where we made this special hole. Oh, that's why we needed it. This construction will give us the cash back. So, I saw something else in your notebook and made a little more than you asked for. I cut the templates from Popsicle Six. Sammy, you're amazing. Let's glue them into our sheepy bank. I just want to help you. In that case, let's use magic. Guys, the last one we glue crosswise. There. Now here we put the cardboard platform. And insert the popsicle sticks. They'll be the lever of our pushing mechanism. Now, let's place a small cardboard piece on top. And… Ouch! <gasps> Sam, what does this mean? Sorry, I couldn't help it. Why do you need another rubber band to lash up dollar bills? Sammy, don't rush. There's still one important part to put. While the rubber band is for the other side of the coin bank. Let's glue the wooden fastenings. And the second one. This mechanism is so crafty. Now tie them with these rubber bands, which actually hit quite painfully. Sorry, I won't do it again. Can we check out the work of the whole mechanism? <laughs> sure, let's throw the gumballs into our cashback section. Now I insert the coin, pull the lever, and get an instant cash back! Perfect! So we just need to turn this mechanism into a sheep? Correct. We're going to do it right now. I have a task for you as well. I'm ready! But first, we need to cover the mechanism from the other side with cardboard like this. Let's also put another fastening. And pull the rubber bands on the other side. Now, we'll need cardboard circles. First, let's cut out the actual circle. And the hole for the mechanism. You should make seven more pieces like this and glue them one by one. Can you do it? It's easier than counting the annual inflation. I'm not. Meanwhile, I'll get to the appearance of our sheep. So, it's time to make our coin bank look like a sheep. I already drew the contour of our sheep's face on the cardboard. Guys, be very careful working with sharp tools. Cut the face out carefully. And as you can see, guys, I made the ears very big on purpose. Guys, I made the sheep's wool from a regular cloth. How do you like it? <gasps> Here comes Sam. I can't believe he's already done. I had to recall a couple of new formulas and techniques, but I'm ready to present my work, Susie. You did great, Sammy. Now we can glue the face. Look, the coin bank is starting to look like a sheep. Huh, it really reminds me of something. Uh, did I mop the floor with this yesterday? <laughs> Good point. It's really made out of a cloth. And it's time to make our sheep warm. Here's the secret. We can always open the zipper and load new candies inside. It reminds me of a wireless speaker with a lock. Don't forget that it is a sheep, not a woolen speaker. And it has legs. Let's glue them well. I already glued the second, the third, and the fourth. Let's hurry up and finish it. I can't wait. <laughs> Hold on a little. We need to paint it as well. Let's mix the necessary colors. Okay, I'm gonna go do something else. Step aside. Here comes a great decorator. <laughs> <sighs> We just need to attach everything to our sheep. 
my finances urgently need a safe storage, and my soul wants the cash back, so let's speed up and finish it. Let's finally put my first coin into the sheep. All right. Got it! But I have more coins. Let's see! Here's the second one. You can never have too much cash back. Hey, don't get carried away there. Okay, I'll throw in the rest of my coins later. It's more fun to save this way. While the cash back, I will use it right now. Guys, thanks for watching. Try to make this cool sheepy bank yourself. Absolutely, you won't regret it. But first, subscribe to our channel and before pressing the sheep's nose, hit the bell button under the video. Looking at our sheep eating the coins, I'm thinking it's time for us to have a snack too, Sue. <laughs> yes, until you take all the cash back just for yourself. Guys, enjoy your meal and your craft. Bye bye Huh? Wait! Oh! Hold on, Sue, I'm coming! Phew! I made it! Here! These are all the chocolate coins I have! Oh, thank you, Sammy, but what's the rush? Sue, you won't believe it! Uh, wait a moment! This wasn't the note from Sam from the future! You just wanted chocolate coins! Well played, Sue. Well played. <laughs> no offense, Sammy, okay? I just wanted to hint at the new craft we're going to make. Oh! Are we gonna make a time machine? Not exactly, but you'll see in a bit. Hi, guys! Are you ready for a new awesome craft? As you can see, I've already colored all the pieces. Wow, so we are making a time machine. No, we're gonna make a vending machine for your chocolate coins. Why are you so obsessed with time machines? Thanks to this transparent piece, we'll see the chocolate coins rolling down. Now, let's attach this plastic piece with the help of hot glue. Guys, ask an adult to help you at this stage. So admit it, a time machine is a very useful everyday device. Actually, I wouldn't mind having my own personal time machine. You can go back in time to finish all the things you plan to do, for example. Or you can jump into the future to finish the craft quickly. I never have enough time to complete my to-do list. Wow, cool! Well, no wonder. Here it is. I brought it so you don't forget anything. Thanks, Sammy. Yeah, my day would be super productive if I had a time machine. Ugh, Susie, I definitely find a better way to use my personal time machine. Oh, why don't you like my idea? I think it's a rather effective time management method. You know, going back in time to wash dishes doesn't sound all that exciting. I'd go back in time to eat Nutella forever! <laughs> Wait, how are you gonna eat Nutella forever? Just imagine, you finish a jar of Nutella, go back a few minutes, and the jar's full again! Guys, give a thumbs up if you want to eat Nutella forever, too. <laughs> Seriously, though, time travel requires careful preparation. Oh, shoot, everyone says that, but so difficult! Get in and go! Um, Sam, is time traveling as simple for you as brushing your teeth? Guys, we made the upper barrier on our little door. We need a coin to make the lower one. By the way, it would be fun jumping into the future where your teeth are already brushed every morning! So you can make them dirty with chocolate coins again! Also with Oreo, Nutella, ice cream, waffles! Uh, I'm afraid this list is endless. Marshmallows! Chocolate flakes! Honey flakes! With the help of this moving piece, the chocolate coins will fall into the machine. It'll look like this. Cool, right? Spaghetti, cheese balls, crackers! Hey, please stop! I just love all kinds of treats! The door for our vending machine will work thanks to these rubber bands. Wow, looks like a time portal. Huh. 
Have you already been inside the time portal, Sammy? And if you have, why didn't you take me with you? You don't need to see a time portal to understand what it looks like. You can just watch movies, like I do. Ah, well, you're a real professional at that. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> this is how the door will work. It'll push the chocolate coins straight into the machine. Sue, I didn't know you weren't into fishing. What are you talking about, Sammy? I'm too obsessed with fashion, you know? I simply don't have time for fishing. I need this string for the craft. With the help of this string, we'll be able to move the door we've just made. It's actually fun to cast a fishing rod, sit on a stone, enjoy the sunset. Yep, you don't even notice the time fly by. Poof. Let's remove the extra part of the stick and fix the construction with glue. Our mechanism for the coin's descent is ready. All right, while Sam's dreaming of fishing, we're going to make the body of our vending machine. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button not to miss new videos. Sammy, have you made the piece I asked? Everything is calm. You can hear the waves and then you notice the bobber moving. Huh, I guess Sam's gonna have a new hobby soon. <laughs> Ugh, Sue, can you imagine it? I was daydreaming and didn't notice the time go by. Well, think of it as time traveling. Guys, Sammy made a great handle for our machine. Right. Let's see. And I'll place this here. There you go. The mechanism we're making now will push the chocolate coins into the machine. It's so strange. Sometimes you don't notice the hours fly by and sometimes minutes can seem awfully long. Yeah, right. It depends on what you're doing. For example, now that we're crafting, I don't even know how much time has passed. It's the same when you're reading Marvel comics. <laughs> you just open the book and bam! You're at the last page in no time. That's why it's so cool to have hobbies. Mine are crafting and fashion. But I'm always open to something new. Even fishing at sunset would be fun. Now we need to glue this piece to the body of the machine. So, shall we make a time machine next time? I have some design ideas. Well, design is not quite enough for time traveling. Carefully cut the extra part. Guys, look. If I pull this string, the mechanism's activated. Perfect. Why do you doubt we can make the greatest time machine ever? Tammy, we haven't even finished this craft yet. First of all, you need to create a detailed blueprint of the time machine. A detailed blueprint? Easy peasy. <laughs> we made the base of our machine. Now we can move to the next step. Guys, now we're going to make a lever that will activate our machine. Ask an adult to help you at this stage of the craft. Well, Sammy, are you convinced now that even making a blueprint of a time machine is very difficult? Do you underestimate me as usual. I created the blueprint and considered every detail. Wow, so quick? So how are we gonna travel in time? It's really simple and genius. Sounds promising. By the way, we're making a base for the lever that will activate our machine. So Sammy, tell me your simple and genius plan. Right. <clears throat> we'll take a lot of waffles. Cover them with Nutella. Whoa, are you sure we're talking about time traveling? Let me finish. <sighs> we'll cover them with Nutella. Then, this is important, we'll put a camera next to the plate. Oh, wait, Sam, you're confusing me. Are we gonna get to the actual time machine construction? Hear me out, Susie. <sighs> we'll put a camera to see where all the waffles disappear so fast. <sighs> Guys, we need to glue the lever to the body of our machine. Insert the lever into the thread and this opening and glue its base. So, did you memorize the plan? This is how we'll figure out the time travel technique and we'll build our time machine based on that. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but waffles don't travel in time. Ugh, what do you mean they don't? So why every time I start eating waffles is there a whole plate full of them and a second later the plate's empty? Mm, it's simple. You like waffles so much that you don't notice finishing the whole plate. I don't know. It's not convincing. I think you're not paying enough attention. <sighs> Fine. Anyway, you need to work on your plans some more. Our vending machine is ready! 
too. How about adding some more decor? Yes, Sam, you're right. Ta-da! Shall we add more golden elements? There. And don't forget chocolate coins! Sure, Sam. We're making all this for them, after all. It's time to fill the machine with chocolate coins! Oh, that's my favorite part! Sam, now all your chocolate coins will be stored in our cool vending machine. Guys, our machine is ready! Give a thumbs up and hit the bell button if you liked making this craft with us! Well, Sammy, are you ready to get the first coin out of our vending machine? I am! Here we go! I hope the chocolate will help you generate ideas for the time machine project. Oh yeah! So we're gonna build the most powerful time machine ever! Also, chocolate will help me design stylish outfits. <laughs> Ahem. I need one more coin. Here you are. Yummy! Check out this cool vending machine we made! Give a thumbs up and sub- um, One more. Oh, sorry, Sammy, but we've run out of coins! See, I told you they run away from me into the future! How could they disappear so fast? Great spot! I urgently need to build a time machine! Uh, Sammy? Anyway, guys, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. Bye bye Samantha! <laughs> Is she sleeping? <sighs> Samantha! <sighs> Samantha, get up! Mm. Oh, what? Mm. Samantha, come on! I got on. lost. Can you see I'm sleepy? Not anymore. Come with me. Where to? We're shooting a video. Ask Sue. I want to sleep. Sue's not home. And the video won't shoot itself. Come. Ugh, fine. Ah, what's what? that? Uh, who's leaving candy around? Oh, Samantha, let's make another candy machine. Everyone loves them. Well, if everyone loves them, come. Guys, subscribe to the channel. This will give Samantha some energy. Come, Mr. Uh. Chatterbox. What's up, guys? Today we're up for another wonderful... Oh, uh, uh, be careful. Why are you getting in the way? Go on to something useful. Like what? Bring you something? You decide. Why should I bother myself with that? You always do what you want. Uh, well, fine, I will. Go on. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. And I want to make an incredible candy machine. For example, this machine is good. But here, you press the button and then you get a candy right away. But in the machine I'm going to make today, a candy will have to make a journey. I will mainly need cardboard. Will you need sticks? Yes! How did you guess? Well, we've made so many cardboard crafts that I'm becoming an expert. An expert? Perhaps you've learned to make parts for the craft with your mind. Uh, what? I knew it. And you're calling yourself an expert. Watch and learn. Poof! All parts are done with one movement. I'm in awe! I'll go snap myself with a rubber band to show humility. Oh, no, wait. I need rubber bands. Oh, I'm robbed even of that! Stop whining. Go cut some small parts out of colored paper. It's for decoration. Oh, I'll be right back. And I'll start assembling the machine. First, I need to glue these parts together. These will be the shoots for candies. I'll take my trusty glue gun and start applying the glue nice and slow. Each cardboard strip should be placed parallel to each other or it won't work properly. I've drawn a guideline for the middle part. It's just easier that way. And I'll place the strip carefully over the glue. Now the last strip. Applying some glue and… done! I'll insert two more parts into one of the shoots. I need to glue them inside neatly. Speaking of which, well, it's more Sue's department, but these cardboard crafts teach to be careful. One wrong movement and it's not working. <laughs> like this. Uh -huh. What? I am working! And you say I'm not working? What? I wasn't talking about you. Oh, well, whatever. He always hears things. 
Right. I'll place this piece of cardboard inside. In you go. Aha! Uh -huh, done. And now, let's make a funny part for the machine. We need to insert sticks into round cardboard parts and secure them with glue. They should hold really well. Then, remove the upper layer of cardboard. Oh, come on! I know I can! Phew! Uh, uh, uh. Okay, now let's glue our hard-earned cardboard piece to the circles. I'll also apply some glue on the cardboard to make it sturdier. <laughs> While I was working, I got so hungry! <laughs> oh, a chocolate! I'll eat one piece. Well, half. Oh, who am I kidding? I will eat it all! Um, what have you got there? Look at this thing. Hmm, do I smell chocolate? It's my new lotion. Ah, and this is obviously your new face cream. Right. Have you got out the creative pieces? Do, 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 do. I'm working on it, duh. Teasing me. <laughs> Uh, if it wasn't for the channel, I'd quit and go play. Hey, dear viewers, which game are you playing right now? Write in the comments! Right, the candy slide is done. Let's continue. I need to cut away this part and glue it diagonally. It should fit perfectly like this. And this will be the front wall. To make sure candies don't fall out, I've glued a piece of transparent film. Let's glue the front wall in place. Whoops! I hope it didn't hit you! Not me! But something's going to hit you if you keep bothering me. Can't you be helpful? Right. Let's attach the handle. I need to secure it well with glue to make sure it doesn't fall off. A few drops will be enough. And now... Too early, Pipsqueak. Can't you see only one part is done? But I have the decorations ready. You can go ahead and make something else. These parts, for example. Will do. Do, 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 do. And I'll make a spring mechanism meanwhile. I'll need wooden parts, cardboard parts, and rubber bands. Poof! Done! Now let's connect them with the first part of the machine. I'll apply the glue along the edges. Mm -hmm. Be careful, but you can have fun too. And place it on top neatly. The wooden lever should be right beneath the openings in the walls. It should move up and down freely. Now I'll glue a holder for the rubber bands. Right here. It's such a small piece. And I'll pull the rubber bands over. Oh, great! Here! Right on time! We're going to make a spiral shoot. For candies? Yep. I've removed the upper layer from another piece of cardboard and I'll roll it into a tube. Let's glue circle halves to this tube. They need to be tilted slightly. And I'll add small cardboard pieces on top and on the bottom. They'll direct our candies into the right mm, direction. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. Is this just lying around or do you really need it? I do need it. I'll wrap the spiral in it like this. Very carefully. Oh, when can we start decorating? <sighs> Can't wait to do it. Well, it's the fun part of the craft. Is it? Uh, well, I don't know. Do, do, do. Guys, write in the comments which part of the crafting is fun. I'm sure you'll agree with me. I'll glue the lid and then you can decorate. I'm waiting. Wait. Is it ready yet? It is, it is. I'll go get some candies. And I'll stick it in here. Wow, this is really beautiful. Let's throw the candies in. Mm. Pew! 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 Pew, 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 pew! Testing candy machine! Take one!
machine. Yeah, this is a cool machine. Give a thumbs up if you agree. Where are you taking it? To my personal collection. Sharing is caring, Samantha. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and don't miss out on any of our future videos. See you soon. Do, 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 do.